All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. District tournaments begin tonight around the Commonwealth as teams from our coverage area vie for district titles. First up, we head to McGoffin County for some 57th District Girls Basketball action as host team and four seed McGoffin County matched up with one seed Paintsville. The Hornets' Alexis's Montgomery got off to a fiery start as she opened up with a game with two big three-pointers. Tigers' Eleonora Lizani catches the ball at the foul line, takes it, and the defender inside spins mood gets the ball up, and it's good. Paintsville had a deep threat of their own as Anna Keaton steps into a pass and knocks the three-pointer down. And then again, the Tigers are on offense. This time, Presley Chirico steps in from the corner and hits the 10-foot jumper. Final score from McGoffin County, Paintsville 55 in Game 1 over McGoffin County. 42 advancing to the championship that they will play this Thursday of the winner of this game right here, and that's Johnson Central and Sheldon Clark. The second-seeded Golden Eagles coming into this one at 4-2 and two in the district with Sheldon Clark standing at 1-6 and six in the district. Getting things moving along for the Eagles, a baseline pass to Lauren Preston, and they're on the board. Sheldon Clark looking to answer back a little trouble in the paint. There was no trouble on the wing as Hannah Scott knocks one in for the cards. Central now on offense, inside pass to Hannah Fitch, drive and dribble, the basket is good. A close one here at McGoffin County so far. Cards on the attack, Hope Lafferty working her way inside. She gets the easy lay-in, but it would not be enough. Johnson Central comes out with the win, 55-33, and they will play Paintsville in the 57th District Championship. And in boys basketball action, we head to the D.W. Howard Fieldhouse. For some 58th district basketball, it's a packed house for the final 58th district tournament ever that will feature just Floyd County schools. In first round action, it's four seed host team Betsy Lane and the number one seed Allen Central. To get the game moving along, Allen Central's Cameron Nelson lays one in and the Rebs are on the board. He will lead the Rebels with 14 points on the night and then four minutes pass in the first quarter before Betsy Lane even got on the board. Grant Osborne with the spin move spins in and he spins out. The basket is good, but that's all they would score in the first quarter. Moving to the second, coming in hot off the bench, Zach Bentley from the pocket not only once, but twice, and he leads the Bobcats with 13 points, bringing it within two. The Rebels win it in a close one. Betsy Lane, 40, Allen Central, 44. The Rebels advance to play the winner of South Floyd and Prestonsburg in the championship game on Friday.